Hey there guys, WolfTM2008 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing a program to you called Net Surveyor. Now, as you can see by the little shield to the right of the shortcut, I do need user account control to basically let me verify that this is what I want to access. Now, granted, when this loads up, a lot of the information that you see here will be well, like, blared out for security reasons, um, but this tool is quite good. It'll basically scan all of the local SSIDs that the Wi-Fi can pick up and would be eligible to join. So at the top all of the information regarding the MAC addresses will be blurred out. But as you can see it gives you a list of 14 channels here, 14 Wi-Fi channels that your connection could possibly be on um, and it will let you check to see if there's any congestion on the channel you're on. I've had to use this tool multiple times to determine which channel is going to be best for my Wi-Fi connection. Now currently I'm on channel 3 which seems to be the most unused as it were by people in this neighbourhood. And it's quite good for me because that means that there isn't any interference. And that my beacon quality is higher than other people as well. Now, this is on the channel usage view. There are other views as well. We've got channel time course here. Which again gives us the strength of a, a real time count of hours, minutes and seconds. Depending on how long you've had the software open for, of course. Then we have a heat map which is how hot your signal is in effect. Spectrogram which I can change the view of this just by, or I could change the view of it by clicking left click, not the case anymore. Ah, scroll wheel. So I can, that's how it was originally, I can do a full view front of it, go from the side which this side might be better considering I am at this side. So it's near minus 15 there. And we also have AP different differential and then AP time course. AP I'm presuming is basically an abbreviation for access point here. As you can see mine's in red, it's fairly consistent on the quality line higher than the other ones in the area. The only other closest one is green and the dark blue. Not sure how to use this differential time view but we shall. I will go off and check the help of the forums if there are any. But this is a really cool tool especially for the channel usage and time course to let you see the strength of your channel. But channel usage, it gives you a clear indication of how many connections are on one Wi-Fi channel. And if you've got access to your router interface, which I hope many of you do, I'd be a bit concerned if you didn't. Or if you don't know your account settings for it, get in touch with your internet service provider, they should be able to sort you out. But let's say if I had a conflict or I was on the same channel as, say, Blue here. We're both on channel 2 and I noticed a dip in performance. I could go to any of these vacant channels depending on what your router allows. Mine allows 1 through 13. So I could choose channel 1 because that's vacant at the minute. 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Auto selection on your router will basically choose the channel with the least connections on it. Doesn't mean it's necessarily the best. Channels that routers more or less aim for by doing auto as well is 1 and 13 at either end of the spectrum. And 6 as well. 6 is always popular with it. But you've got the chance here to see 
the connections in your area, see what channel they're on and move your Wi-Fi accordingly. So this software, like I said, is called Net Surveyor. It's by a company called Nuts about Nets LLC. All links will be in the video description just below this. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, just head over to YouTube. You'll find the information that you are looking for. So guys, this is just a quick video to show off this nifty piece of software. As always, my name is WolfTM2008. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.